Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. With the many summer games showcases from PlayStation, Xbox, to Capcom and Ubisoft, we were treated to a whole lot of games to come, and the gaming landscapes looks pretty good and exciting. One game in particular with a demo to the public was Final Fantasy 16. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. With so much hype behind the premier Japanese role-playing behemoth that is Final Fantasy, and one of the main reasons why I purchased a PlayStation 5, I was super excited to get a taste of the game with a demo. Final Fantasy 16 is developed and to be released by Square Enix in June 22nd of 2023. This highly anticipated game looks to ditch the turn-based tactics of old for an action-oriented approach. The game takes a medieval and fantasy magic look at the world similar to the old traditional Final Fantasies with the Super Nintendo, which in turn were the ones that really got their hooks into me, especially with 4 and 6. The demo takes you through the first two hours of the game and lets you soak into the story and lore, and boy is there a lot to take in. There is probably about only 30 minutes of actual gameplay here as the story really takes charge here. There is a lot to devour as you meet the characters and understand the present and past climate of the world. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. The game here is visually stunning with two modes with the graphics and frame rate. I did prefer frame rate in the end as the battle system just flowed so much better than in the graphics mode. It was very consistent and I didn't see any dips at all. This is what I would expect the visuals to be but was amazed that the game really ran with no real issues here in both modes. Although I did prefer frame rate mode, the graphics mode is crystal clear and just spoils you rotten in how well everything looked. The voice acting was done so well that I preferred the English actors well over the Japanese voices as it just meshed a lot better. The Japanese voice that I did try just didn't lip sync that well leaving me with an awkward feeling. Nothing wrong with the emotions here, just a little off where the English voices seemed more on cue and was very well acted. <laughs> Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? The gameplay here is where the game really stole the show for me. After you do complete the story mode, you're given about an hour long mission where you all you do is test out the battle mode. The story was a nice little intro to the battle system, but the extra mission really allows you to let loose with more special abilities coded in red, green, and yellow, where you can constantly switch back and forth as you pummel your opponent. Very swift and responsive a la the frame rate mode, the game is simply a gem to play as you master the fights. Get him, boy! You know what to do, boy! Keep it 
distance, boy. Get him, boy. The biggest con here for me is the very lengthy cutscenes, but it does present in a very high bar here for its overall presentation. I did notice that the computer AI for your companions is not on par with your dog. The dog was always attacking for me and I loved it. I found that the other companions to be slower and barely attacking, which left me to do all the heavy work. Coming off a game like Tales of Arise, where your companions all fight with you at all times constantly, I was put off by the lack of support here. Overall, the game is a visual stunner with fantastic battles that are quick, responsive, and a joy in performing. This is a game I'm really looking forward to in purchasing when it does release as they have put in a lot of effort and it really does show. When you have a Dragoon in the game, once again, what can go wrong? That's it for this look at the demo of Final Fantasy 16. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be hope out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. What's in that?